Very, very soon, I'm going to be doing an extensive series with you all on the textbook First Course in Mathematical Logic by Patrick Supps and Shirley Hill. We will be working through this textbook, and that's simply because it is the simplest, easiest, gentlest introduction to symbolic logic that I know of. I have not found a simpler book than this, but it will build the foundations. It's not only, so to speak, a very mathematical book, but it's also a book that in a way overlaps into the liberal arts because there's a focus on translating ordinary English sentences, ordinary English propositions into the language of symbolic logic. This is published by Dover, so it's very inexpensive, but at the same time, it's a good book. It will last a long time. It's well packaged and it's definitely less than $20 last time I checked, so it's definitely very affordable. So let's look at the back of the book and then the table of contents and some very idiosyncratic aspects of this book. So it says, axioms and their role in the derivation of theorems form the core of modern mathematics. And with well-planned teaching of the axiomatic theory, students can achieve the background for a deeper and more penetrating study of mathematics. This volume introduces rigorous mathematical logic at a level that is simple enough in both presentation and context to allow relatively easy understanding. Starting with symbolizing sentences and sentential connectives, it proceeds to the rules of logical inference and sentential derivation, examines the concepts of truth and validity, and presents a series of truth tables. Subsequent topics include terms, predicates, and universal quantifiers, universal specification and the laws of identity, axioms for addition, and universal generalization. Throughout the book, the authors examine the pervasive and important problem of translating English sentences into logical or mathematical symbolism. Their clear and coherent style of writing ensures that this work may be used by students of a wide range of ages and abilities. And that's definitely true. It's an old textbook from 1964, but that's perfectly all right. And in many ways, that's an advantage, sometimes older textbooks, to be honest. It is idiosyncratic in what it covers. Some key features are missing that I think should be there but it also covers topics that I haven't seen in any beginner book. So let's open this up. And this was published in 1964 by Patrick Supps and Shirley Hill. So we have the preface and here we have the table of contents. So let's uh, look at this. So chapter one is on symbolizing sentences. And it's very, very gentle, and you will see that in the presentations that I'm going to do on this textbook. But it will get more advanced, trust me, but it's always at a gentle level. It introduces things in a gentle way and builds slowly, step by step, so that you can really absorb this material. So a high school student could definitely go through this book and go through my video series and learn something. Even an intelligent middle school uh, student could do it. I think so, absolutely. So one is on symbolizing sentences, a very important uh, part of this book. So there is an overlap into the liberal arts world, not only the mathematical world in a sense, I would say. Then we get into logical inference. So there's a lot of meat here in terms of doing um, natural deduction and so forth. So we have the rules of inference, like modus ponens and modus tollens and so forth. And then we get into truth and validity. One thing that's odd, it introduces truth tables later, actually all the way in chapter four. It doesn't start with them. A lot of textbooks get into truth tables right away. They don't. And in many ways, I think truth tables are tedious, but they're good to learn, and um, they're not too bad uh, to work through. So with truth and validity, validity, like I said, including things like the indirect proof, a reductio ad absurdum, you have conditional proofs, all that stuff, the truth tables. Then you get into predicate logic, I think this is where the book is a little bit weak, um, and I'll talk about this later in future videos, but you will get into the basis of predicate logic here. And then we get into universal specification and the laws of identity, and this is a very unique. So it tries to build, so to speak, a system, a simple mathematical system using logic. So axioms for addition, and then we get into universal generalization. This part is a little bit more technical and tedious in some ways. Um, so some people would enjoy the last chapter, some people wouldn't. Um, but this is where it gets into more hardcore mathematics, one might say. But from a gentle perspective, though. So we're going to definitely go through this book. Um, so subscribe to my 
uh, YouTube channel if you want to follow along. So we're going to go through section by section and we're going to do some of the exercises. There are many, many exercises in this textbook. So this is by Supps and Hill. I definitely recommend it. You can buy this book on Amazon through my link if you so desire. And you can watch my future video series, which will be covering this in depth. And we're going to master basic logic and think more logically. So join me on this adventure. I'm the Amateur Logician. Until next time, be well.